Hi there, Fly Pepper, and I want to talk to you about green pepper patterns. Now, I picked these up at a, a auction where I bought all my fabric at, and I really love these patterns here. Now, green pepper patterns is like a back to basis uh, wear. Now, this one here is a uh, size uh, level three sewing skill is what it says and it's a men's casual power pants so what i like about it is you see right here it shows the zipper on the side and the last and everything here so this one here as you see on the back of it gives you a description on everything here now if you look up green pepper patterns you'll notice that everything here it's designed for uh, more of an outdoor winter situation, storm situation, uh, comfort situation, however you want to put it. And then on the back of it, it talks about this. Now this raincoat here is what is designed here is there's a pouch right there that goes around your waistline. And it's the, the poncho here is designed to fold up into it. And you have it in the pouch. It is a po poncho folds into its own pocket to become a convenient belt pouch. So that front part right there you see is where you fold all your pouch up into that pouch right there and then you have it conveniently to wear it around your area, your belt, your waistline area. Uh, then I have one here that is a basic day pack right here and you go online you'll look it up now I buy a lot of my patterns from because I get a lot of things on sale from them so these run about six seven dollars each these are a few years old this one here is six dollars right here you can see here it has the vest and everything to it it is uh, called Oak Ridge Hunter Vest it's a multi size pattern and what multi size pattern means is that it's there's more than one size in here. What you're going to see is when you're taking your pattern out, like you'll see three different lines on it and say this is this size, that size, that size. Uh, some people trim it down to the size they want. What I would do if I was you, uh, if you can, get some tracing paper and trace the pattern off onto another sheet so you can still have your original one and you don't wear it out in case you decide to use one of the other sizes on it or whatever this here shows all the lines and everything here on it uh there's some more patterns i've seen on on back to, uh on the pepper one that was i seen a couple of them at joanne's fabrics i seen a couple of them on mccall's you can see here the thing is like with anything with this here this is a type of tracing paper here it's real light what I would do, if I was you, is invest in some more tracing paper and copy. Take some carbon paper or whatever and copy it off onto another sheet so you would not have to mess this one up so much. Because if you plan on doing a lot of sewing, you're definitely going to need this. <clears throat> in here is the instructions. And all the papers here is... Looks like it's re recycled type of paper here. Uh, it shows you everything on the inside of it, how, how to do it all, and put it together here. So again, I'm going to show it to you here. It's just a basic here. It, it, back here, it tells you everything you need. Uh, adult day pack is a 14 and a half by 10 and a half by 6 inches. And it, uh, the fabric will be uh, seventh eighth of a yard, or or sixty inches, or one yard for uh, forty five inches. Now, the children uh, day pack is smaller. You have both patterns in here for that. <clears throat> and then uh, it talks about the needle punch, the core zipper, and the webbing, and all the other items that you would need in here. This one here is really quite simple when you think about it. It's uh, the material, of course, is you want a type of fabric 
that is water resistant, uh, tobacco or whatever, um, a rain, rain, rain coat, coat top them too. I do have some of that. Um, then of course it shows you about your core goggles and all the other stuff that you would need with it. And then your side release buckle that you would also need with it. And your thread and everything. So it really kind of explains it all. It's really nice looking. So this in here I definitely really want. This here has the zip up side into it. You can insulate it. Uh, I'm, I've got some wool that I purchased. And I want to make some pants from my wool for this to help keep me warm during the winter months. So that's something to think about. So check them out, Green Pepper Patterns. Uh, you can find them online. You can find them at Joann's. You can find them at McCall's. I go online and I buy a lot, most of my patterns from McCall's, matter of fact. I've got several ordered now. Go to on them. You could probably go to the Green Pepper site and order. Like I said, this is a lot cheaper than paying fifteen dollars for a pattern when you could pay seven or eight dollars for the for a pattern like this. This one here was six dollars, so I don't know. Uh, this one here was nineteen ninety eight, so it tells you how long ago this one was. This here is a vintage pattern. So was this one here, and it's a 1998 also. But there is New York patterns out here. Check them around, look for them. So this is a lot of prepper here saying be safe, be happy.